Hi there. I'm going to look at our new Samsung Family Hub refrigerator, uh, which we got today. Uh, never done one of these videos, but I wanted to show a couple things that I've discovered uh, about the fridge. So, a couple things. When it starts up, uh, when you walk up and the motion sensor just is supposed to detect you. It didn't that time. Normally it does. Um, but as you can see, it has a pretty big screen, calendar, date, weather, little memo screen we drew, a uh, little picture. You can access recipes. It's got your Pandora in the lower right. It tells you the status of the fridge, and then it has some apps down here to order food that can be delivered to your house. Uh, you hit the fridge manager, and then uh, I have some child protective things on so kids can't get in uh, tells you the temperature of inside your refrigerator right now it says it's making ice um, and then it also has a whiteboard you can draw some more and then a different app for uh, for music um, the calendar I've discovered you have to have the Samsung calendar uh, downloaded on your phone it won't let you just add calendar events on the refrigerator at least I haven't discovered it yet, so I'm still working through that. Uh, one of the things I discovered after we hooked up the uh, water and ice maker today is after about a gallon of water uh, through it to get it to clear after it went through the filter and everything, the, the, the water dispenser was still leaking. Uh, so I called Samsung. They were very quick to answer the phone, so I was pleased with that. Um, and they said run about two or three more gallons through as there's still air in the lines probably and it will stop leaking As you can see it's dry there. So that's very nice. and very happy about that uh, So we'll open the door here and show you the inside of the fridge um, Generally, I'm pleased that I had a side-by-side -side door fridge before with fridge on one side and freezer on the other uh, so the space inside is, is much better, much bigger. I do like this. You'll see this lifts up. So that's actually kind of a nice feature if you have something tall or a turkey or something. Uh, this is also a nice feature where, again, if you have some tall drinks, that slides back. Uh, so you can add different things to it. Um, the ice maker, it's been up and running for about four hours now. I have yet to see ice produced. Uh, but the space inside is nice and big. Over here on the side is really your tall space for your tall drinks like milk and orange juice and, and things like that. It, um, unless I were to really adjust the shelves in here, there's no real tall space uh, for drinks on a regular basis. So that's one thing I, I probably don't like, but I guess you could just leave this flipped up or you could push this shelf back down like I showed you before. Um, it has three different compartments. You can adjust the humidity. So I have fruit in here, so I want to keep the humidity high. I don't have anything in here, mostly because I threw some stuff out from the old fridge. Um, and then the pantry select down here for, you know, cheese and deli items. Uh, and it has three different temp temperature settings. So fresh, chilled, or deli fresh. So if it's ready to eat, as you can see there. Um, the side, and let's look at the doors here. So I do want to show you the, the side here. Uh, this is a fairly small place and as you can see it's it's kind of narrow back there this really is narrow and with the angle coming up uh, from the ice maker there's not a lot you can keep in there uh, this down here same thing i have uh, four bottles of gatorade uh, but that's all that I can hold there and then uh, let's go over here to this side and you have that's a fairly decent size and i have some cokes back there uh, and then, like I said, that's a fairly decent size there. And again, that's decent up there. I don't have a lot in there yet. I do want to point out and show you. So uh, on the inside here, you see these black spots. And there's, they're run right up and down the middle there. And I'm going to close the door. And then I'll show you what those black spots actually are. So let's do this. So um, I'm going to go over here scroll over and it says view inside so when you close the door it takes a picture of the inside of the fridge now you can act that's wonderful uh, that it can show it on the fridge itself I guess it saves electricity but you can also access that from the app on your phone so if you're out shopping and say hey what do I need 
what's in the fridge, uh, generally you can get a good picture. Um, I haven't worked it out yet. I do know, so like that, you can tap that and add and say, hey, this, was, this is fruit, the date it was here, add it and then set an expiration date and then they, it will actually uh, remind you uh, that it is expired or, or overdue to throw it out. So that's actually kind of a cool feature as well. I thought that that was nice. Um, let's go back to the home feature here. So, so Pandora, as you can see, Pandora pops up right there. I have it disconnected from the Bluetooth, but I did have it connected to a Bluetooth speaker earlier, which was actually very nice. So if you're just in the kitchen cooking or doing whatever, you can turn on some music. Uh, actually, the sound out of the refrigerator is okay, but that's about as loud as it gets. So, so there you there, there you have that. All right, let's move down to the freezer. So the freezer opens up. It's fairly big. Um, as you can see, the first part is a drawer. It's a uh, where at least I'm going to keep the things that I would access the most. Some glasses, I've got some bagels, uh, some, some meat and vegetables. And then some bigger items down in the bottom uh, where you have bigger baskets. And then there's this separator here, as you can see. Uh, but the baskets are, are fairly large, so on this side I kept meat, on this side I kept uh, uh, mostly vegetables and, and fruit, and then some ice packs that I have. Uh -huh. um, so that's the fridge in a nutshell. Like I said, it's, it's much larger. I wouldn't say much larger. It's the same cubic feet, but the usable space inside is much larger than my old one. And I do want to show, so when you pull on the handle, uh, my son said, hey, the handle's loose, but it actually has a hinge. So when you bring it open, it, lo it kind of locks. And then if you push it, it goes closed, or it's supposed to go closed. Oh, well, maybe it's not. I don't know. It's supposed to go closed. I, maybe I'm not doing it right at this point. Uh, there's also some notes. So if you want to leave a memo for somebody in the family, like um, be home late, you can do that. And boom, and it's, it's there. Be home late. And that way when people get home, they would say, hey, he's coming home late. Uh, like I said, there's some other apps that I will show you here. My understanding is they're supposed to add more apps. Um, haven't, again, I haven't explored it because I haven't had it as only about four or five hours. But it will bring up the weather. You have the calendar we talked about. You have to have that on your phone and an account already for that. Uh, the clock is fairly standard. You can actually surf the internet. It has uh, a browser. Uh, brings up recipes, load a photo album, you have Pandora, you can create shopping lists right from your uh, that inside view. Um, and if you have a TV, a Samsung TV, uh, I believe it's a 6400 series and a higher, you can mirror the TV right on the screen uh, onto the refrigerator. And then I tried to access the Samsung smart home app, but they said they're updating that. So I don't under don't know what that is yet. Uh, more to follow on that. And then the things to do list, you can create uh, different things to do, water plants, clean, and then you can add those. Uh, so let me get out of here, use the back button just like on a, on a uh, Android. And then there's different personalities uh, that the phone that you have. So this would be Dan. It doesn't give you really creative avatars. And there's Marsha, my wife, and Max, my son. So you can add to-do lists for each person there. Uh, so that would that's there. It has a timer, so I guess if you're cooking and don't want to use the timer on your microwave or your oven, uh, you can use that as well. So anyways, that's it in a nutshell for my very first uh, video ever. And then I will point out before I hang up or, or stop this, so it does have Bluetooth connected to Wi-Fi, it connected to Wi-Fi very easily. And then um, if you see the little flower there, it detects the demand on the grid, I guess there's communication across the grid um, and will balance the load on the refrigerator based upon uh, the demand of the household to cut down on your electrical spending uh, and actually use smart electricity, smart grid technology. So that's the uh, Samsung Family Hub in a nutshell. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this and I will try to do this again. Thank you.